Good morning, everyone. Granny here. Praise God. One day closer to going home. I just done this video and I screwed it up and I had to redo it all over again. I'm sorry because I was so excited, y'all. I wanted to do a video today to let y'all know I'm not going to give up on y'all. I'm not going to quit doing videos. Uh, I know I know how it feels to, to wake up the next day and say, oh, the rapture didn't happen, so I got to go make that decision I'm supposed to make and I didn't want to do it. And I got to go pay those bills and I didn't want to do it. I was hoping the rapture would come first. I know how it feels, but y'all, there is always hope and there's always glorious and God, Jesus is there to comfort us and he sends angels and he's and he's there so praise God I just want y'all to know the Lord's love like I wish y'all could just know that you can talk to the Lord the only way that you can get through these hard times and these circumstances and everything that's going around the storm and everything that's going on around us is to have that relationship with God you need that relationship with God and the way to get that relationship is to talk to him. Talk to him every day, and you'll start hearing from him. I can guarantee you I put my money on it, people. You can hear from him. He loves y'all. That's why he created us. He wanted to fellowship with us. And and I know you're, some people are, are intimidated by because they don't know what to say to God. What do you say to God? I remember when I, when I uh, you know, first started talking to him, I was like, what do you say to God? And, and you know, of course, I did it when, when I first started really talking to him is when I was going through all this mess on this property, you know, and I was discouraged, didn't have a house and all that. But I started talking to him and I started talking to him so much. And I think it was after my mama died is when when I started hearing him. That's when he taught me forgiveness, you know, and having forgiveness in my heart. But the only way to get through any circumstances is just to talk to the Lord. Many of you commented about your depression and about about being discouraged, you know, and everything. You don't have to be. The exciting thing is you don't have to be. God can show you. God can show you. You just talk to him and tell him how you feel. And if you do it enough, I mean, I'm talking just five minutes is all, all you need to do. More if you can, but five minutes. Just five minutes out of your busy day. Just talk to him. And tell him, you know, what's going on in your life and how you're feeling. Even if you feel good, you talk to him and say, Lord, I had a wonderful day. I want to thank you for it. You know, if anybody was spying through my windows right now, they would think that I was I was crazy just talking to people that ain't there. Because I'm talking to the Lord. When I'm by myself, I'm talking to the Lord. And when I give him that time, he always, always comes back if, if it's with circumstances or troubles that I'm having he always comes back and and gives me something comforting something that I can work with through the circumstances every instruction that he's ever given me I put it into practice in my life and mark my word it worked he's amazing I love him so much I love him so much and I just wish everybody felt that love because you don't find it in this world I, too, struggle with depression. I struggled for years, and I didn't know how to feel any different. I didn't know that there was any different feelings. I thought I was just, you know, that I was just stuck with it. I didn't have insurance, so I couldn't go see no doctor. I mean, so uh, the, God was the only, the only one there. And there's been many times when nobody else was there, and God was. God was. Even when I was screwing up. And, you know, I didn't deserve any of the help that he's given me. I didn't earn it, but he freely helped me. And he gave me a whole different perspective on life, a whole different way of thinking. And it was all from having a conversation with him every day, every day. And I love him so much, and I love what he's done in my life, and I just wish everybody else would have that experience with him because it's a wonderful experience. And I'm all excited because I know, I know he's coming to get us. And I got to thinking about the rapture, you know, and everything. And, and I remembered my dream. And I remembered it was, it was a, a small town in my dream, you know, and all the buildings were close together and the people were walking on the streets and it was just full of people walking, going to and fro and, and just busy. And the other day I watched an hour long video 
And this man goes around the streets of Jerusalem with a camera, and he walks around. It was during the Feast of the Trumpets, I believe. And he was walking around with a camera. You can find it on YouTube. And it was an hour-long video, and he was walking around the streets of Jerusalem. And I remember thinking, that's, that's exactly what I saw in my dream. The buildings were close, and the, the buildings were the same color as what was in my dream. But it was nighttime. So it makes me wonder, since it was nighttime in my dream in Jerusalem, it must be going to be daytime here. I just wonder. I mean, don't don't take it, you know, serious what I'm saying here because it just makes me wonder because in my dream, the streets looked like the streets of Jerusalem where that man was walking around with a camera and it was nighttime. And maybe it's going to be daylight here because nothing uh, here looks like that. Nothing I see here looks like what it did in my dream. But then the streets of Jerusalem did. And also the fact that, that uh, I saw the man running across the sky and giving Jesus a hug, which made me want my hug, you know. And I, I even told my brother, I said, I think that man, that was because his clothes didn't look like anything that we wear nowadays. I'm thinking he was the dead in Christ that rose first. And he ran over there and gave Jesus a big hug. And I said, I want my hug. So I didn't know how to get up there. And I started running and I just appeared up there. So he gave us this. He gave us this. We're, we're go it's going to happen. Just don't know when. But we just got to hang in there and hang on to that love that the Lord has given you. Man, he, he gives it so freely. He loves us unconditionally. No matter what we've done. No matter what we've done and mistakes we've made. We learn from our mistakes. We put our hand on a hot plate. We know it's hot. We ain't going to put it on there again. So we know it's hot. So we learn from that. It's the same thing with our mistakes. We learn from them. And then we let God, we let God help us clean up the mess. Because he always does. You got to let go, let God, and just talk to him. Say, Lord, I messed up today. I don't know how, I don't know how to fix this. I had a problem making this video today. And I, and I messed up the last one. It was so perfect. And then I just messed up. So I had to redo it all over again. But I was so excited because I wanted to I wanted y'all to feel that love that God has for you. He loves you so much that he gave his only begotten son to die for your sins. And he wants you to be saved. He wants you to be happy. Even through your circumstances, you can be happy. You can find joy in it. There's a way to do it. And just talk to God. That's that comfort. That's that comfort he gives you. I'm telling you, it's the best comfort I ever had in my entire life. I don't get that comfort on this on this world. I sure don't. I'm so excited, y'all. My mouth's drying up. I'm sorry, but I'm just so excited. I love the Lord so much, and I just I can't find that love anywhere on this earth. I can't do it. Not that kind of love. And it just it just fills me with such excitement, so much love. And, it, and it's a blessing to know that I've got you guys as my friends. Y'all are my friends. And I pray for my friends every night. Every night I pray for my friends. And I know the Lord is in y'all. I could, I could just see it in your comments how, oh, we're just so in tune with God. We just hear him. You know, it's wonderful. And I'm so excited that we're going to all get to, to meet up in the heavens. We're going to get to do that one day. Praise God. And we were chosen for that. This generation was chose for it. It's praise God, it's gonna happen. I'm just so excited. Anyway, I want to get to this prayer list that I've got. I got I've got a couple of uh, new names on it, and it's getting longer. It really is. Uh, so I want to pray for. I want us to pray for Beth AMC Hugh. Uh, prayers for pain. We're still we're still praying for you, sweetie. All these on this list. Uh, Bridget Hall, 6793, we're still praying for your daughter, sweetie. I, I know, I feel in my heart that that our prayers get answered. So we're still praying for your daughters, and we hope you hear from them soon, too. I've been praying for that, too. Lady Jess, we're still we're still praying for you, and I think you've added something to your to your uh, prayer request, and we're praying for you, sweetheart. Um, Steve, I can't really... Pronounce the name D E G A G N E twenty nine oh one. 
uh, suffering from depression. We're praying for you. Let me tell you something. Talk to the Lord about your depression. I'm serious. Give it a chance. He will change your life like he did me. Man, I, I suffer no more from depression. I mean, it, it felt good to finally be gone and rid of it. But, you know, just, just talk to the Lord about it. Greg Kinsey, 9867. We're still praying for those panic attacks, too. Let us know how you're doing. Keep us updated. We love you. And uh, Ron Dares, Phil, 6966, uh, is praying for a few people. Donna, Jean, and Buckley. Uh, Jean and Buckley for salvation, and Donna for serious health issues. We're praying for those people, too, Lord. Uh, and we hope they. Keep us updated. Amanda33860, uh, protection, deliverance, and strength. We're praying for you. Pamela Frey, Frey, Frey uh, 4667, uh, pain, PTSD, depression, and panic attacks. We're praying for you. See, that's what I'm saying. A lot of depression. A lot of depression. Pamela K23, uh, the Lord knows what she has need of, and we are praying for you. We are surely praying for you. Jody and family, demon attacks, demonic attacks, and depression. Let's pray for him and keep him in our prayers. That's my son, by the way. So I've added him to the prayer list. And um, we got uh, Kaylinda Follett, 47, salvation and deliverance for uh, Kristen. Kelly and Evan and adult children. So we're praying for you, sweetheart. Uh, Angelingle 8404, strength, protection from evil and discernment. We're certainly praying for you. That's a good thing to pray for right there, discernment. I'm sorry if I pronounced the name wrong. I'm not a good reader at all. Believe you me, I have to Google stuff all the time that I don't know what that word is and how to pronounce it. And when I done the Lord's Prayer, it took me six years to learn that Lord's Prayer in Hebrew because I, I'm bad enough with English and trying to learn another language was just extremely hard. And then I got, uh, man, I write these down so so hard uh, that I can't read my own writing. Vicki Phillips, 8498. Uh, the Lord what knows what she had need of, and we're praying for you. So, see, I told you a lot of people are suffering from depression. I just want to let you know that, that there's you can have freedom from it. You really can. I'm not telling anybody to stop taking their medication. I would never do that. I'm not a medical do doctor, and I'm not, I don't have any uh, schooling. I had a very small class in psychology, but it was a very small class, and I didn't finish it. So... I didn't take psychology and received no degree in psychology. So I would never try to give anybody any medical advice. We are praying for you, but I'm telling you, if you talk to the Lord about your depression, if you really want freedom from it, talk to Jesus, man. Jesus said, I am the way. Talk to him and he will relieve you of that depression. He'll give your mind a whole new way of thinking. He did me. And if it doesn't work, then why did it work for me? It wasn't, I, I didn't go see any preacher or any counselor or anything. I, I didn't have the money for that. So I had to go straight directly to God. And he gave, and he doesn't sugarcoat it. He told me, you you infested with demons. I can clean them out for a day, but you're just going to keep inviting them back in. <coughs> Excuse me, my mouth, my mouth got dry. My throat's getting dry. Sorry. Anyway, um. Praise God that he can deliver you from this de depression. He could teach you how to feel differently. I mean, you know, it, I know how it feels to not know any other feeling. I know how it feels to think that that's the only way you know how to feel. There's no, you know, you've never felt uh, free from it before. You don't know what that feels like. But Jesus can show you. So I pray to God, I just pray that you learn that love like I've learned and feel it. There's nothing like having love, peace, and joy all together in your heart. When God cleaned out all that, ripped all that bitterness and anger and, and hurt out of my heart, and he filled it with love, peace, and joy, I'm telling you, there's no better feeling. You, 
You will, you will fight to keep it. I guarantee you. It feels so good. It feels better than any uh, any drug or alcohol drink or anything that I've ever done. That it just man, it feels so good. It feels so good to know that that can get you through any circumstances, anything. Everybody's had 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 trauma happen to them at one time or another. Some are worse than others, yes. So you know. But the Lord can help you. He can open your heart for forgiveness and, and, and help you get through it. And it starts with forgiveness. It really does. I had a lot of people I had to forgive for my past. And then I had to forgive myself. And it's like I said, once you forgive yourself, you start you start feeling the forgiveness of the Lord. It hits you just like that. And it happens just like that. It's a wonderful feeling. So uh, we're praying for you with with depression and everything. And God bless all y'all. I'm excited. And I'll do another video on, on the 9th. I'm going live at 9, 9 a.m. Texas time. So I will see y'all uh, on the 9th live Texas time. If the rapture don't happen first, which I'm praying for that to happen first. But we can't, you know, we, we just got to keep watching for it. Like y'all, like we all have been talking about on here, uh, put on the whole firm, full armor of God and keep your wedding clothes on too because we don't know. Be ready for anything and everything. So anyway, I love you. God loves you. He loved you first. And thank y'all for watching.